It's Wisdom Wednesday, and this week we're taking a look at adding and removing channels and buses from pre-existing sessions. So imagine you've got a session that you've been working on for a tour and maybe halfway through the tour, you're told there's gonna to be an additional keyboard player joining. So that means you need to alter your session to have another channel for your keyboards and add another aux bus for that musician's monitor mix. Now, the quickest way to do that is files, session structure, and then from this window, I can select the different channel types and then with the touch turn encoder, wind up the number to add as many channels uh, or even take away as many channels and buses as you like. So I'll add a few here and then I can use the channel order, aux order and group order buttons to move these additional auxes or whatever buses and channels I've added to a different position in the channel list. So this is useful if you've got another keyboard input, you'll probably want it next to the existing keyboard inputs as opposed to at the very end of the channel list. And uh, with auxes, you might want your new monitor aux to be with the rest of the monitors as opposed to at the end or with the effects, for example. Now, one very important thing to pay attention to before I press restructure is the rebuild banks buttons. More than likely, you've got a custom channel layout, so you've moved different faders around the console surface. If I were to press restructure now with rebuild banks horizontally selected, that would give me a default channel layout on the console, which is probably not what you want in this scenario. So in this scenario, the best thing to do would be to deselect that, so none of them are selected, and then restructure. Once it's restructured, you'll then have to go and manually add the new channels and buses to the surface, which is probably a quicker way than having to completely rebuild your channel surface.